So welcome to hole number one. Now, as you know, hole number one is the first 1370 and Ruby Rose 2 is hole number two. The reason we are stood on hole one is because if you remember our episode on cabinetry, and I'll put a link to it up here, architectural designs, go to mock-ups in the workshop, but before they actually put those into production, they then mock everything up on the boat to make sure that there are no, there are no errors. Everything fits absolutely perfectly. And so what we've got on hole one are mock-ups of the furniture as they are going to be in dimensions, if not in finish. So everything is mocked up in, in plywood, in MDF and in balsa. So this is not the finished product, but it is just, they are dimensionally accurate. So let's start by going into the starboard hole, then we'll get down to the port hole see exactly what they've done. So we're just heading down companionway stairs, port hand side. Let's have a whiz down there. And you can see this is obviously, it's, it's MDF. Sorry, it's a working factory. Have a look at this, see what you think. It's pretty huge, so that is going to be the bed. Let me just take you through that and just run you through the size of that. So here we are in the master cabin. Now what you can see here, they've made up in balsa. So this is a balsa MDF, a mock-up of the bed. And this is just to make sure that when they actually construct the parts that they all fit. So as we can see now, a huge, huge amount of work has been done. And it also gives us a really good idea of the actual size and dimensions of the bed in our cabin. And it's pretty huge. We're talking queen size bed, a very, very large bed. Lots of storage under here. You can see that there's going to be storage here, really sizable unit. And then underneath there's even more storage. And we're all about the storage. How much storage are we going to get here? Locker, another locker here, third locker here. And then you've got lockers at the fl at floor level. And if we spin around and I'll just take you around there, you can see everything that's going on again with more storage, the workstation that they are building down in this hole for people to work. Or, you know, if you want to go back to the 1970s, call it a vanity unit. So let's take a look at that as well. Again, just to locate you, this is port side hull just aft of the main cabin. This is going to be our workstation or one of our workstations. So for those of you who want to work from home, when the home is your boat, this is going to have a whole raft of plug sockets, USB points so that we can actually work effectively and edit from here. But again, we've got storage here, here and here. So there is a lot, a lot of storage on this boat, actually more than I was envisaging. It gives you a real idea of scale. So we've got lockers here, double lockers. And again, this is for us gonna be storage. So we've got storage here, storage here, storage here. Now again, these are fairly sizable, sizable lockers. As we film the progress of this boat, you will kind of get to see how much more storage that they build in, because this is just one hull. Forward, you've got walk-in wardrobe. Walk-in wardrobe is gonna have a huge amount of space, which is not just for like hanging up cocktail dresses. Lots of storage there, lots of storage here. What we talked about back in our 2019 reviews of catamarans, our concerns about storage, I have no concerns anymore. Let's go and take a look at the rest of the boat. Now let us take a move into the starboard side hull. See what we can see there. Let's take a walk forward. So here we are in the starboard forward cabin of hull number one. And what you can see here is all the cabinetry that has been mocked up. This is actually very, very attractive. And obviously once this is all kind of varnished, it will look amazing. We talked about the fiddle, the fact that there will be a fiddle on here to stop people rolling out of bed. So we have lockers here, they will all pull out. And again, so storage space, there is a huge amount of storage space here. And also what we can now see down below here are the steps and how you access the bed. And they are wide enough and deep enough. This is gonna evolve pretty rapidly over the coming weeks. So to be able to see this going from kind of mock-ups to the actual cabinetry is gonna be a super, super interesting process. Let's go and take a look at other aspects of this boat. Amazing. And here we are now in the starboard aft cabin. Now there's a little bit of an echo here, but one thing that is, whew, as I sweat through my t-shirts, I do wanna know. The inserts, these are the inserts that we saw in a previous episode being glass. Now, these are all in place and it will give you a really good idea of the amount of light that's gonna come in there. There's the signature sea wind, kind of like slanty windows, but there's a lot of light, even for this kind of the smallest of the cabins, there's a lot of space in here. And again, you can see 
storage that's going to be here, cabinetry that's going to be here, and there's a lot of storage under the bed. This is actually pretty sizable, and probably, although not as wide, definitely we have more head height than we had on Ruby Rose, so no concerns here at all. Welcome back to another back end of an episode. So many of you after the last episode wanted to know about my life in Vietnam. I thought I'd throw another little thing into the mix and today, just because so many of you requested it, I thought I'd talk about something which I do every day, which is coffee culture. And I kind of alluded to it in the last episode, but coffee culture in Vietnam. Coffee is this country's number one export and Vietnam is the number one coffee exporter in the world. So coffee shops like this are everywhere. But the coffee is not what you're going to get from a standard Western coffee shop. It is Vietnamese coffee. It is served in a variety of different ways, normally cold, but it is delicious. It is rocket fuel. And let me go and show you exactly how most of my morning start. Let's go inside. Uh, coffee soup? Coffee soup? Yeah. Come on. You are with me, right? Stand here, right? Come on. So the basic premise for coffee here, it's, it's a filtered coffee. It's called uh, Fin, P-H-I-N, put it at the bottom of the screen. And essentially, it's drip coffee. It is then mixed with condensed sweetened milk, um, more often than not, and poured over ice. Generally, this stuff, I'd say it's two to three times stronger. Come on. Two to three times stronger than regular espresso. It mixed with like the super sweet condensed milk. It's just like a super, super intense flavor burst. And once you've had this and you've got used to it and you've stopped the shakes that invariably come with any kind of like prolonged exposure to this stuff, it just becomes such an amazing part of life. It is not good for your waistline, it is super calorific. And I try to only have one a day. I also try to have it without sugar, but it's so good when you just need a little pick me up. So, cafe sur, coffee with condensed milk over ice. If any of you have a Vietnamese restaurant or Vietnamese takeaway near where you live, just go and ask for Vietnamese coffee, milk coffee. Amazing, and come back and let me know what you think. I'm gonna get on with this, because it is delicious, and yeah, amazing. Enjoy yourselves, I hope you're having a fantastic time wherever you are. This is my morning. Again, lots to film, lots to show you in the factory next week, but for now, breakfast, and I will catch up with you all real soon. Take care, goodbye. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. There is so much going on. And as I stand underneath Ruby Rose 2, this is her, it is fantastic to see cabinetry going in, the mock-ups going in. We've got the hardtop coming out in the next episode and that is gonna be super exciting because that carbon fiber hardtop, it's gonna give you a really good indication of firstly how much weight we're gonna save, but secondly how much internal space we're gonna have just in our saloon and cockpit area. So that's the next episode coming up and I am very, very excited to see that finally released from the mold. There is so much we've been doing over the last month, but one thing we've never managed to do because the timings have not been right is actually see a demold. So that's in the next episode. So if you liked what you saw today, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. As we continue this whole foray into watching our boat being built, there's a lot more to see. So if you haven't already subscribed to what we do, give us a subscription. Why not? Why would you not? And I will see you all next week. Have a safe and beautiful week, whatever you choose to do. And I will see you again really soon. Goodbye.